As of Saturday, WKU will have 2,100 more members of the Alumni Association. That's because the first step toward hanging on to their WKU spirit has already been taken for them. After years of study and sacrifice, who can blame these graduates for cutting loose? The students have worked hard over the past four years obtaining that degree. But commencement is only the beginning of a lifelong relationship with their alma mater. I think they're excited to know that their relationship with WKU is not going to end after they walk across that stage and shake Dr. Ransel's hand. A couple of deans came up with the idea of how to tie graduates back to WKU's Alumni Association quickly. What if the deans or to say for our graduating class we'll offer a complimentary mem membership in which the colleges will pay, uh, which is a value up to $35 per graduate, and they'll become a member. And then it's our job to keep those graduates involved. We want them coming back to homecoming, we want them coming back to reunions, we want them involved in their academic departments and programs. So I think as those deans see the level of involvement that alumni have with the institution, they'll be more likely to, to continue that support in the future. A future that includes a long-awaited center for alumni to call home. The new Augustine Alumni Center, which is under construction behind us here, we should be finished in December, January at the latest of 2013. But that also coincides with the Alumni Association Centennial. A centennial celebration that will welcome the next three years of graduates to the party. WKU's 171st commencement will include a graduate ceremony Friday night, three undergraduate ceremonies on Saturday, as well as three regional campus ceremonies. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.